The sketch shown here is comprised of construction geometry that I will use to draw slots. There are four different slot types available in SOLIDWORKS, which can be seen if I click on the drop-down arrow next to the slot tool in the sketch tab of the command manager. The first slot type is the straight slot. The second is the center point straight slot. The third is the three point arc slot. And the last one is the center point arc slot. These sketch tools can also be found in the tools drop down menu under sketch entities. In the right click menu while in sketch mode. Or in the shortcut menu by pressing the S key. I'll start by sketching a straight slot. The property manager appears with a number of options. In the slot types box, you can choose between the four slot types that can be sketched. There is also a checkbox to enable adding dimensions upon completing sketching the slot. And there are options to dimension the slot center to center or by overall length if the add dimensions checkbox is enabled. There is also a parameters checkbox available that can specify the X and Y coordinates of the center point of the slot, the width of the slot, and the length of the slot. These are currently grayed out, but will become available once the slot has been sketched. To begin sketching, I'll make sure the straight slot option is chosen, and make sure the add dimensions box is cleared. This slot is sketched by setting the two endpoints of the center line, and then setting the distance between the center line and the edge of the slot. To begin sketching, I'll place the two endpoints of the slot center line on the small construction line. Move the cursor upward to generate the contour of the slot, and then click to place the slot. The next slot type, the center point straight slot, will be created on the other small construction line toward the bottom. I'll choose this slot type in the property manager. This slot is sketched by placing the midpoint of the slot center line then setting the distance from the midpoint to the end of the center line, and then setting the distance between the center line and the edge of the slot. To begin sketching, I'll place the midpoint of the slot center line at this point. Move the cursor to the right. Place the endpoint at the end of the construction line, and then move the cursor upward, and click to place the slot. The third slot type, the three-point arc slot will be created along the circular construction arc at the top of the sketch. I'll choose this slot type in the Property Manager. And notice that additional options are available in the Parameters box, such as the Radius value and the Angle of the Arc. This slot is sketched by placing the two endpoints of the slot's centerline arc, then setting the third point to create the curvature of the centerline arc and setting the fourth point to create the contour of the slot a certain distance away from the center line. To begin sketching, I'll place the first end point of the center line arc at this point on the construction arc. Place the second end point at the top of the arc. Place the third point along the arc, and then place the fourth point to determine the width of the slot around the center line arc. The last slot type, the center point arc slot, will be created along the circular construction arc at the bottom of the sketch. I'll choose this slot type in the Property Manager, and I'll click the checkbox to add dimensions. This slot is sketched by choosing the center point of the centerline arc, then setting the two endpoints of the slot's centerline arc, and finally setting the distance between the centerline and the edge of the slot. To begin sketching, I'll place the center point of the arc where the horizontal and vertical construction lines intersect. Place the two endpoints of the slot's centerline arc, and then set the distance between the centerline arc and the edge of the slot. Notice that dimensions were added to the slot once completed sketching the slot profile. Slots can be modified by clicking and dragging the endpoints of the arcs, the edge of the slot, or the center point of the slot. The slots sketched here have relations to the construction geometry, so the only modification that can be made is to widen the slots by dragging the endpoints of the arcs or the edge of the slot.
However, if I sketch a straight slot outside the construction geometry, I can drag the center point of the slot, which changes its length and width. I can drag the end point of the center line, which changes the length of the slot and its vertical position. If I drag one of the linear edges, the width of the slot changes. And if I drag the arc edge, the length and width of the slot change. This completes adding all four slots types to the sketch, and I'll click the Exit Sketch icon in the confirmation corner to exit the sketch.